In this video, we are going to talk about the DCET previous year question paper solution. Yes, we are going to make a series of DCET question paper solution. Please subscribe our channel to get an update. Okay, so we'll in this video, we'll talk about one of the question papers and in the next series, we'll talk every next video, we'll get one of the question paper solution. Okay, let's begin with the first question. Hey, again, these two questions are asked how to solve this. See here, sine of 225 degree. That's what that's what we have to calculate. To calculate this, first we have to take a quadrant system. This is first, second, third, and fourth quadrant. This is 225 degree. This is 0, 90, 180, 270, and again we can write it as 360 degree, right? 225 degree that is here, right? So this can be 225 degree because it is below 270, above 180 degree. So, I can write 225 degree as sine of 180 plus 45 degree, isn't it? 180 plus the distance is 45 degree, just minus 225 minus 180 or 180 plus 45 is 225 degree, is that so? So, we'll get 45 degree by minusing this and this and also whenever you have a unit place 5, you'll be always having 45 degree as addition. We made an entire video explaining how to solve this question. Please go and check out in your YouTube channel that is JK Academy, okay? Chalo. Plus, cos of minus theta, cos of minus theta is cos theta, so this will be get cos of 135 degree. Sin of 180 plus, sin of 180 plus theta, 180 plus theta is the third quadrant, third quadrant sin is negative, so minus sin 45 degree. Plus, again, cos of 135, cos of 135, it is somewhere here, so cos of 135 is somewhere this, this is an cos 135 degree, right? So cos 135, cos 135 is in second quadrant, that is 180 minus 45 degree. So sin 45 is what? 1 by root 2 plus cos 180 minus theta, 180 minus theta, that is the second quadrant. Again, this will become minus 1 by root 2. So minus 1 by root 2, minus 1 by root 2. See, minus apple, minus apple is minus 2 apple. So that is minus 2 by root 2. Because root 2, root 2 is same denominator, we can keep it as it is. Minus 1, minus 1 is minus 2. Is that good? Let's go to this question. Okay, what is asked? Sine of 180 minus just taken quadrant. This is 0, 90, 180, 270 and 360. This is the quadrant, right? Sine of 180 minus A, 180 minus second quadrant. So, sine will be positive. So, sine of A will remain as it is. Next, cot of 90 minus A, 90 minus first quadrant, all are positive. I'll just take bracket for everything. All are positive. Cot of 90 minus, that is the first quadrant. Will This will remain positive. And cot will convert into tan, tan of A, right? Again, in the numerator, we have one more thing. Cos of 360 minus 360 minus that is fourth quadrant and cos will remain as it is. So, cos of A, right? These are supplementary angles, right? 180 and 360 are supplementary value. If you're not getting, we have made an entire video explaining how to get these answers. So, please don't forget to check our YouTube video. Okay, let's go to the denominator. Tan of 180 plus 180 plus in third quadrant, tan is positive. So, I have to take this as positive tan A. Isn't it? Times tan of 90 plus 90 plus that is in second quadrant. In second quadrant tan is negative. So minus tan is completed converted into cot because of complementary angle. 90 degrees complementary. This and this is complementary. This and this is supplementary angle. So cot of A times sine of minus A. Minus A means fourth quadrant. In fourth quadrant sine is negative. So I can take minus sine A. What is can be cancelled? Sine A, sine A get cancelled and tan a tan a get cancelled and cos by the cos a by minus cot a is remaining right so minus into minus is plus so i can write as cos a upon cot a so can we write this as cos a times 1 by cot a is what tan a what i am saying 1 by cot a is what tan a right so, this will become cos A times tan A is what? Sin A upon cos A. So, cos A, cos A get cancelled. Sin A is the solution. Is that good? Okay. Yeah. Again, let's start with the first question. What is the first question? Sin 2A upon 1 plus cos 2A. This is the question. See here, we know the formula that sin 2A is what? 2 sin A cos A. We have dedicated an entire video for this. Go and check out. And also, that's uh, the video name is important question, important formulas for trigonometry. Okay, this is here. One plus cos two a. One plus cos two a is what? Two cos square a. 
Let's substitute this back into the question. So sin 2a is what? 2 sin a cos a divided by 1 plus cos 2a is what? 2 cos square a. Now 2 and 2 get cancelled. 1 cos 1 cos get cancelled. Sin a by cos a is the remaining. See here sin a is in the numerator. Cos a, 1 cos a, there are 2 cos a, na? cos square means 2 cos square, cos square into cos into cos, 1 cancel, 1 cancel. Na? So now we are left with sin a by cos a, what is sin a by cos a, cot a, this is good, let's go to the next question. What is given, tan a is given, tan b is given, find tan of a plus b is found, is they are asking, right? So what is the formula, tan of a plus b is nothing but tan a plus tan b over 1 minus tan a tan b. This is the formula. So tan of a plus b. Tan of a plus b is equal to. What is tan a given in the question? 3 by 4. So 3 by 4 plus 1 by 7 divided by 1 minus 3 by 4 times 1 by 7. See here. Tan of a plus b is equal to. We want to take an LCM. How to take an LCM? In order this into this, this into this, this into this, right? So 7 into 3, 21 plus this into this. That is 4 into 1 is 4 divided by 7 into 4, 28 divided by. Again, let's multiply this. 1 minus 3 ones are 3 over 7 fours are 28. Next, 21 plus 4 is how much? 25 by 28 over. Here again, we can take an LCM. In denominator, there is nothing means there will be 1. So, 28 into 1 is 28 minus 1 into 3 is 3 over 28 into 1 is 28. So, what do we get? 25 by 28 divided by 28 minus uh, 3 is how much? 25 by 28. So, this and this get cancelled. What do we get? 1. Because numerator and denominator are same. Let's go to the next question. Yeah, now cos inverse of tan 135. First, we have to solve this. Then, we have to go to cos inverse. So, tan 135 degree. See here, this is 0, 90, 180, 270. And again, this will be 360. Now, 135 is above 90. So, let's take this as above 90. Let's consider this as 135 degree line. So, now, 135 degree is here. So, can we write 135 degree or 135 degree as tan of 180 minus 45. How did I know this is 45? Whenever you see unit digit as phi, it will be in terms of 45. Okay. So cos inverse of see tan of 180 minus that is second quadrant. In second quadrant, tan is negative. So minus tan 45 degree. We have made an entire video explaining these things that is quadrant system. So please go and check our YouTube channel JK Academy. There is a playlist mathematics for DCET. Please check that video. It is very useful. It's a 30 minutes video. Once you know it, you will know all this how to write easily. Okay. Chala. Now, so cos inverse of minus what is tan 45? Tan 45 is 1. So now we have to know the formula that cos inverse of minus some number cos inverse of minus some number is nothing but 180 minus cos inverse number. Okay. Cos inverse of minus number is nothing but 180 degree minus cos inverse of this number. So, this is a formula that you need to remember. So, cos inverse of minus 1 is what? Pi minus or 180. 180 minus cos inverse of 1. So, this will become 180 minus cos inverse of 1 when cos theta will become 1 see here cos inverse of 1 is let's say consider it as theta let's consider cos inverse of 1 as theta we will take this cos inverse as this side so 1 is equal to cos theta now we have to think for what theta do we get answer as 1 is it 0 30 60 90 or what if you substitute 0 cos 0 is 1 so theta value should be equal to 0 right so, theta value should be equal to 0. So, I can write cos inverse of 1 as 0. So, 0. So, 180 minus, is, 180 minus 0 is what? 180 degree. The solution is 180 degree. To solve this question, what is the known thing or what is an important thing to know is, what is the formula for cos C plus cos D? If cos C plus cos D, where C and D are some angle, if cos C plus cos D, the formula for this is 2 cos 
c plus d over 2 cos c minus d over 2 this is the formula now see here we'll apply this formula for to this and this number we'll keep 180 degree aside so let's solve this so cos c plus cos d cos 20 degree plus cos 100 degree so c is 20 d is 100 so this will become 2 cos c plus d 20 plus 100 that is 20 plus 100 divided by 2 cos c minus t that is 20 minus 100 so 20 minus 100 over 2 right so plus this is there so cos 140 degree will take it as it is now 2 cos what is 20 plus 100 120 120 divided by 20 is how much 60 degree right times cos 20 minus 100 is how much minus 80 so minus 80 divided by 2 plus cos 140 degree now cos 60 is how much 1 by 2 so 2 times 1 by 2 times cos of minus theta is what cos theta so what is the formula we'll just write it down cos of minus theta was cos theta isn't it so times cos of uh, minus 40 is what cos 40 because cos of minus theta is cos theta so plus cos of 140 degree so this two and this two get cancelled so now we are left with cos 40 plus cos 140 it is same as this formula right i'll just rewrite this as cos 40 plus cos 140 because 2 and 2 got cancelled now again we have to apply the same formula now the c value is 40 d value is 140 so now we will get 2 cos c plus d by 2 that is 40 plus 140 divided by 2 cos c minus d by 2 that is 40 minus 140 divided by 2 isn't it so now 2 cos what will be left 40 plus 40 plus 140 is 180 so 180 by 2 cos 40 minus 140 is what minus 100 divided by 2 see here now 2 cos 180 by 2 is what 90 cos minus 50 degree see here cos 90 degree is what 0 so this will become 2 times 0 times cos minus 50 so 0 into anything becomes 0 so this whole thing becomes 0 is that good is that good the two formulas that you need to remember to solve this question is this and this this is the two formula this is one of the important most question because it has uh, come several years okay Thanks. hey guys i hope you enjoyed this dcet uh, question paper solutions video and please share this video with your friends help them and also if you like the way that we teach please support us by liking this video and also don't forget to comment your doubt so that we can make an entire video explaining your doubt and don't forget to check out our full course the link is in the description thanks for watching all the best